Today, I'm going to show you how I ranked a new website, number one, using Bolt.new. I'm going to break down the whole process and basically show you how I grew a new site. There's one single page, DR0, completely new, and it went from zero to hundreds of clicks, as you can see right here. Website was set up here. Boom, we're up to hundreds of clicks. And this was on a brand new website with zero domain rating. It's only one single page. It was completely automated with AI using Bolt.new. They rank number one. It took me only five hours to rank this website number one. And if we go on to a new incognito, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So you can see this is the website I built with bolt.new. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it today. It was ranking number one for its keyword within five hours. One singular page website, brand new domain. And it only takes you like 10 minutes to set up. I actually recorded the whole process as you can see right here. So 4.39 p.m. we set it up and 10.17 p.m. it was ranking number one absolutely wild if you ask me plus i'll break down the whole process into a step-by-step sap and i'm going to show you a new version of bolt.new that i don't think anyone else watching this will have accessed just yet additionally what you can see here is that this website even though it was set up in 10 minutes even though it was ranking number one in 24 hours actually got into the top 3.5 percent of websites on the whole internet automated with bolt.new because as you can see right here 96.55 percent of websites on the internet get zero SEO traffic from Google. I'm going to show you exactly how to get into the top 3.45% in the easiest, fastest way possible that I know, and you can do it for free. Let me explain exactly what I mean in a minute. So basically here we have bolt.new and we can go into bolt and say like, okay, create a tool for an SEO link building calculator, right? We hit enter like so. Now it's just going to go off and code that bad boy for us. Now, I don't code at all, and this handles everything for me. All I need to do is just type in the prompts right here. Now, inside Bolt as well, what you can actually do is do a one-click deploy for building the website and also hosting the website and creating it in one single prompt. Now, the beauty of this, as I've shown you, you only need one singular page to rank. You don't need like a whole big website. And also the websites you're creating are very, very useful because they're basically creating something that's custom tailor-made for the search intent of that keyword. So for example, if someone's looking for an enterprise SEOI calculator, then your tool and your website answers that question, gives them a free tool and helps them straight off the bat, right? So for example, we've got this SEO link builder calculator, really nice UI, people just plug in the metrics right here. So for example, let's put 50,000 right there. We'll put domain authority 40, we'll put current outbound links eight and we'll put monthly budget as 10,000, right? And all of a sudden you can see exactly, okay, Here's the recommended monthly links, here's the impact score, here's the estimated cost per link, here's the time to results, right? And you've just built a really amazing tool in the space of like two seconds to rank for the keyword, right? Now, you might be thinking, okay, but what sort of keywords should you go after? In my example, Enterprise SERI Calculator, what you can see here is that we're targeting this keyword because it's super easy. And also, I know that the estimates on Ahrefs are way underestimated, right? So for example, if we put this into Ahrefs, as you can see, we put the keyword enterprise SEO RI calculator. You can see that the traffic potential is zero, mate, right? Absolutely zero, nada, niente, right? That's the estimate. Just to preview this isn't correct, right? If we actually go into Search Console for this website that I built with Bolt, you can see here that the main query we're getting traffic for is enterprise SEO ROI calculator. And you can see just in the space of like 48 hours, that's already had a ton of searches. Bear in mind, what it looks like is 192 people have actually searched for that keyword and 103 people have actually clicked on that keyword, right? And so don't worry about like oh, super low search volume, blah, 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 right? You don't need to worry about that because quite often this doesn't matter. Traffic potential doesn't matter. Search volume doesn't matter. And even where it says search volume 150, just in the space of a day or so, we've had 192 searches for this keyword, right? And so in reality, we could probably 10 or 20x that search volume that is estimated on Ahrefs. So the main reason that we're using Ahrefs to figure out keywords is not for the search volume, but just to find easy stuff that we can rank for. So let me show you exactly how to tailor this method to your website. And basically the process is, you're gonna find a keyword that's super easy to rank for. You're gonna automate a one-page website using Bolt. And then if you do it correctly, you could potentially rank number one in five hours, just like I did on a brand new domain. So let me show you how to do this. Let's say, for example, we are in like the productivity niche, right? We're trying to get traffic productivity. Then what we can do, we can type something like productivity calculator or productivity tool, etc. 
inside Ahrefs. And that's going to give us a list of keywords that we could potentially rank for. Now, this keyword itself is actually a decent one to go after, right? You see, really easy to rank for, high traffic potential. Now, just because you found that keyword doesn't mean you need to stop there. So for example, if we go to view all matching terms over here, as you can see, and you can do this inside Google Autocomplete if you don't have access to Ahrefs, what we can do from here is then we can search for like, I don't know, KD5 or less, right? Bear in mind, we're creating a new domain. So we want to keep it very, very low competition. We don't have any authority or any backlinks to the website just yet. And then from here, we can just scroll through the list and go, okay, which keywords can we potentially rank for? Okay. So if we look through the list, what we also want to do is we want to find like low DR sites ranking in the top 10, right? So for example, like domain rating 20 or less ranking in the top 10. The reason that we want to find keywords around that is because if our website is brand new and we're creating it via Bolt, we want to find proof that domain rating zeros can actually rank on the first page. Like you see right here, productivity calculator, productivitycalc.com. It's ranking as a DR0 website. You can also see a DR8 ranking on the top there as well. And so that is a keyword that we could actually try and go after if we were in the productivity space. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to copy that keyword. We're going to go straight into Bolt. And bear in mind, if you stick to the token limit inside Bolt, then you actually don't need to pay for this tool. And I'll show you another way to get access and build tools for free using a totally different version of Bolt that I don't think anyone else has heard of. But basically from here, we can just type in, okay, create a productivity calculator. We'll plug that into bolt.new. It's going to work its magic using the AI and it's going to code it as you can see. And it's like, right, I'm going to create a beautiful and functional productivity calculator that helps users track and analyze their work efficiency. Then from here, it's starting to generate all the code, etc. And if you don't like what you see, you can go back inside here. If there's any issues, you can go back inside here and screenshot them and say troubleshoot. Otherwise, just wait for Bolt to do its magic. And the cool thing is about this, you don't need to code. It's fast to load. You can generate it in like two minutes and you can go after any sort of keyword that you want. So once you see this, it's going to take a couple of minutes for the preview to load. But now you can see it's actually really nice, right? You've got a nice little tool set up ready to go. And then from here, if you click on deploy, it will deploy this application to a staging website, which is actually like kind of a live URL, but it gets even better because once you've done that, you can actually set it up to be a custom domain on Netify, right? So you can see here, for example, inside bolt.new, we've created the modern productivity calculator in one single click. We can actually add some more content inside bolt.new as well. So for example, what I did on this website that ranked is I actually included some information in terms of FAQs, et cetera, to make the content on the page more useful, but also more contextually relevant so that Google search engine was more likely to rank it, right? So for example, you can add like some information about how to use it or some frequently asked questions, and then just try and tailor all the content that you produce on the page around the keyword that you targeted. And bear in mind, you're not spamming here. This is something that I really like about this process is that you're actually creating something very useful here. You're not creating something that's total trash. And so if you're creating something useful and you can automate it in one click and it actually ranks, and it could bring you relevant targeted traffic to your niche, why wouldn't you do this? Plus it's so easy. You've already seen the case study proof that actually works. So now from here, what we can actually do is we can claim the website as our own. So if we go into Netlify over here, we can click on add projects to Netlify dashboard. Then we've got the productivity calculator over here. And then you can just click on set up custom domain and you can buy and verify the domain literally directly inside here. Right? So for example, you could go after like bestproductivitycalculator.com. Let's try that. We'll hit verify now. Now we can register the domain and that's basically how you do it, right? So simple and easy to do. You can also link the repository as you can see right here. So for example, if you update the website, then you can connect a Git repository to the website, link them up, and then any sort of updates you set up will get automatically deployed. So simple and easy, right? So just to recap, what keywords you go after? Low competition keywords with like success or ranking on the first page. How long does it take to rank? It took me personally five hours. I'm not guaranteeing that happens every single time, but it was really fast for me. How long to create the site? I would say five to 10 minutes if it's the first time you're doing this. But as you can see right here, once you've done it once or twice, like I did, then you can create them in like minutes. And if you're wondering, okay, how many backlinks do you need to your actual website? In this example, this website right here, I think I just linked like one backlink from my main domain to this site in a contextually relevant link insert. And that just helped boost it up. But if we actually go inside Ahrefs over here and we put the domain of the website that I ranked, it comes up as a DR0. Also, something else to notice here is like, 
there's a huge gap between what you'll see in Search Console, which is the actual data, versus inside Ahrefs, right? So for example, inside Ahrefs, it's going to take a while for it to catch up. And so when you're monitoring up a website, you're thinking, okay, does this website get traffic or not? Bear in mind, like it's usually underestimated by like 80 or 90%. So eight traffic right there, 100 traffic right there in two days, right? That's on to get thousands of clicks every single month now. Very important to know that. If I was doing this again as well, I would make sure that you get that set up on Bing as well, ASAP, because I think once you get an index inside Bing, you're going to get more traffic, of course, but then also it should be more likely to rate as well from what I can see and understand from the algorithms, but I'm still testing that. Now, I want to show you something really cool with Bolt.new because it's actually a new update to Bolt that's kind of like a fork of the original software. So, for example, this is Bolt, right? This is the original version of Bolt. You can actually get a newer version of it that's actually more tailored for using AI, right? So this is one that I've set up. You host it locally. I'll show you how to set it up in a second using Terminal. And if you look right here, here you can't choose between the APIs you use. Inside the fork of Bolt that we host locally, number one, it's free. But number two, you can select between all the APIs down here. It's a bit more user-friendly. Now, the other cool thing about this is that you can get a free API inside Google AI Studio, and then you can plug that inside your hosted version of Bolt and use AI for free to create different projects. So for example, I've already plugged in an API from Google AI Studio, and if I select Google and then Gemini Flash, we can say, okay, create a one-page SEO website, targeting the keyword productivity calculator, and then it will just go off, create that bad boy. It will just go off, create it nice and easy, right? And you got the JavaScript, you have the CSS, you have the website structure, etc. If you want to start a new chat, just go over here and I'll show you how to set this up in a second. But again, you can just go back to whatever API you've given it, right? So for example, build a simple blog using Astro. It's creating the whole blog. This again is on the locally hosted version of Bolt. And then you'll still get the code and you'll still get the preview as you can see right here. But one of the biggest differences here is that Bolt.new, you're paying for tokens, right? So once you hit the daily token limit, there's a pricing model inside Bolt.new. If you use the forked version of Bolt and you host it locally, there doesn't seem to be any sort of token limit, which is pretty interesting. Now, everything that I'm showing you today, I'm putting it into an SAP right here. So you can see, for example, the video tutorials and the SAP on how to set this up directly, which you'll get access to at the end of this video. But additionally, this is how I set up the local version of Bolt.new. So it's called Bolt.new any LLM. I've included a direct link to the GitHub inside my SAP. Bear in mind, I don't code. This seems technical. It's not that technical, honestly. And then you just plug in your API keys like you can see right here, and you can get a free one from AI Studio. Additionally, this is what I do. So you basically just open up the terminal, which you can do like this. And then I entered these commands right here. So just clone the GitHub. And if you're not sure if you get stuck or there's some errors along the way and you're not sure what you're doing, then what you can do is you can actually just screenshot any errors and ask ChatGPT. Like you can see, I did right here inside ChatGPT. So like, oh, why is this not working? Okay, here's how to fix it, right? And then inside here, you can just create whatever you want. So for example, if you're like, okay, make a Space Invaders game, it's going to go off and it's going to start to do that. But you can use this to create any apps, any websites, any tools that you want. Bear in mind, a lot of those tools as well, they're not just good for ranking on Google, but also for automating a lot of tasks that you would normally do with SEO as well. And then you can see we've got the game ready to go here so you can make space invaders if you want or whatever you want to do so thanks so much for watching i've shown you exactly how i went from zero to hundreds of seo traffic with bolt.new as you can see right here zero to hundreds of clicks on a brand new website so this was a domain rate zero in this example one single website it's one single page there's nothing fancy to this website at all it was completely automated with ai and bolt.new showing you how and i've shown you proof on the timestamps here that this website was created at 4 39 p.m and this started ranking same day, 10, 17 p.m. Additionally, I've broken down the whole process, which you'll get access to in a minute, and I've shown you how to get into the top 3.5% of websites using this process. Now, if you want access to the SAP and everything else, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into my free school community. This is completely free. You are not paying for this community, just to be very, very clear here, because I know some people got confused. And this actually comes with loads of cool stuff, so you can join the community here. And if you go into the classroom, there's loads of cool stuff, as you can see. Now, if you go inside the classroom, I'm going to add a new section called rank number one in five hours 
with bolt.new and you'll find the video notes along with the video tutorial directly inside the classroom right here. Now, there's also loads of cool training inside here, loads of SPs, et cetera, on how to do SEO. And additionally, if you ever get stuck with SEO, you can just ask in the community and then people will help you, right? Like you see right here, we're always posting cool stuff inside the community. It is completely free. And the link to this is inside the comments inscription. Additionally, if you want to get a one-to-one -one free SEO strategy session, where we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to book that link building acceleration session in. On this free acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan, to discover the secrets of SEO link building, we'll answer any questions that you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building and how to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Link to that is in the comments description. Hope to see you on there. Cheers. Bye-bye.